Hello everyone, and welcome to my guide on using Terraform on OCI. If you are not familiar with Terraform, it is an open source tool for writing what is known as infrastructure as code. Terraform code provisions infrastructure cloud resources without using the cloud user interface. This is beneficial when system developers have to create numerous cloud resources for large deployments. First, we need to download Terraform. Open up your internet browser and go to the Terraform website. Click on the download button. Select your OS and wait for the download to finish. Extract the Terraform zip file. Now that the Terraform file has been extracted, we need to open up a terminal window within the folder and move the Terraform file to a path directory. Here is an example of the command. User local bin is a common path directory file, but you can choose whatever path directory you wish. Once you have moved your Terraform to a path directory, you are now ready to start writing your Terraform code. First, make sure you have your favorite script editor installed. I highly recommend using Visual Studio Code, since it has Terraform script extensions. Let's open up our terminal and make sure Terraform is installed. Use the Terraform version command. We can see our Terraform version here, which tells us that it has been installed correctly. Now, we need to open up our internet browser again and go to GitHub. Log in to your GitHub account or register if you haven't got one, and enter OCI Terraform in the search bar. Select the OCI Terraform repository. Select Examples. Here is the list of all the cloud services that can be provisioned on OCI using Terraform. In this demo, we will be using Terraform to create a Linux compute instance, a block volume, and an object storage bucket in our OCI tenancy. First, select Compute. Then, select Instance. Here, we can see all of the Terraform scripts required to create our compute instance. First, we need to copy the code in the environment file. Copy this code and make your own environment file to paste it in. Make a folder called Terraform on your computer and store the file in there. Now, we need to do the same thing with the provider data. Next, go to the Compute Terraform file and copy the contents. Once you are finished, your Terraform folder should look like this. Before we can start running Terraform on OCI, we need to create an API fingerprint. First, access your user account on your OCI tenancy. You can do this by accessing the user list from the hamburger menu, or you can search for your username from the search browser.
Once you are in your user account, scroll down to API Keys and select Add Public Key. Here, you will need to paste in your public key. Note that it needs to be in PEM format. If you have inputted your public key correctly, you will see a fingerprint entry appear in your API Keys window. You will need to copy and paste this key into, your, into our Terraform script to allow access to our OCI tenancy. Now, we need to set up our environment file, which is inside the Terraform folder we created earlier. Here is the environment file we need to open. In the environment file, we can see all the necessary information to grant us access to our OCI tenancy. Here, we will need to enter our tenancy OCID. To access the tenancy ID, go to your OCI console, scroll down to Governance, and select Service Limits. From here, copy the OCID and then paste it into the environment file. Next, we need the user OCID. To access the user ID, type your username in the search browser. From here, copy the OCID and paste it into the file. Here is where you need to paste the fingerprint ID that we created earlier. Next, we need the local path to our private key. This is the same key that we use to create our API fingerprint, and it should be located in the Terraform folder. Next, we need to enter the region for our tenancy. The region info can be seen on the Service Limits page, where we copied the tenancy ID earlier. Next, we need the compartment ID. To access your compartment ID, Enter the name of your compartment in the search browser. Here, we need to copy the OCID and paste it into the file. Next, we need the subnet OCID. To do this, go to the hamburger menu and select Networking. Next, select your virtual cloud network. Then, select your subnet. From here, you copy and paste the OCID. Lastly, we need the path to our SSH keys. These should be in your Terraform folder as well. Next, we need to open up our Terraform file. From our Terraform file, we can see our declared environment variables. In order for Terraform to create a compute instance on OCI, it requires the specific OCID code associated with the VM. To find these OCIDs, go to the Compute page on OCI and click on Create Instance. Then, click Change Image Source. Next, select Oracle Provided Images. Select the image release notes. Select your desired VM and then click Read More. Here, we can see a list of all the OCIDs for that specific VM. There is a unique ID for each region. Here is the OCID for creating an Oracle Linux 7.5 VM inside our tenancy region, which is Ashburn in this case. Here is where we declare our cloud provider information, which we specified in our environment file. Here, we get our availability domain by declaring our tenancy OCID and domain number. We are in Ashburn 1, so we have a domain number of 1. 
Here, we get our namespace name for object storage in our tenancy. And here, we can use the output command to view the name of our namespace. Now, we are ready to start building our OCI services. Let's begin by building our block volume. Here is where we specify our parameters for the block volume. Notice that we need to specify the availability domain, the ID of the compartment where it will be placed, the display name, and the block volume size. Here are our parameters for building our Oracle Linux Compute instance. To do this, we need to specify our availability domain, compartment ID, display name, and shape. We also need to indicate the VNIC details, or the VNIC details, the source details, and the metadata, which requires our SSH key. Lastly, we have the parameters for building our object storage bucket. Here, we need to specify the compartment ID, the namespace, name, and access type. Now that we are done scripting, we can start running our Terraform. First, open up Terraform in your terminal and enter the source command to instantiate our environment file. Next, enter terraform init to run our terraform scripts. If done correctly, you will see a confirmation message like this. Next, enter terraform to see a list of all the commands. Right now, the most important commands to focus on are plan and apply, since they will allow us to generate our execution plan and then build out our services. Now, we are going to run our terraform plan command. you will be prompted to create a password for the private key. Here, we can see that the Terraform plan has recognized the three OCI services that we specified in our script. Here we can see the build plan for our object storage bucket. Here is our block storage volume plan. And here is our Linux Compute Instance plan. Next, we need to enter the Terraform Apply command to execute the plan. Enter a value for your password here. Enter Yes to confirm your Terraform execution. You might have to wait a few moments for the Terraform execution to finish. Once completed, you will receive a confirmation message that tells us that everything successfully executed. Now, let's inspect our OCI tenancy and check if Terraform has created everything we asked for. Here we can see that our Oracle Linux Compute Instance was created successfully. On the Object Storage page, we can see our Object Storage Instance that we created using Terraform. Here, we can see all the details of our object storage bucket. Let's see if our block storage instance was created as well. As you can see here, 
our block volume was created successfully. Note that everything that we specified in our script was executed. It is in the compartment we specified. It has the proper display name, and it is 50 gigabytes in size. Here we can see all the details in our block volume. In this section, we are going to terminate the services that we just created using Terraform. To do this, run the Terraform Destroy command. You will be prompted for your password. Here, we are asked to confirm that we wish to destroy the resources we just created on OCI. Enter Yes to confirm the termination. You might have to wait a few moments for the termination to complete. Here, we can see that our termination has completed. From the OCI console, we can see that our compute instance has been terminated. If we check our block storage and object storage, we will see that they have successfully been deleted. Block storage will show a terminated instance, while deleted object storage will be erased from the list entirely. This concludes the guide. Thank you for watching.